Hey everyone, it's Terry over at Decorate with Tip and More. I decided we were going to do a thrift store item with you. We're going to either revamp it or just clean it up and style it in our home. And um, I hope we inspire you to go to a thrift store or a yard sale or even through somebody's trash and find something that you can change into um, your style of your home. I've done all three of them and um, I love doing stuff like that. So um, I hope you do too. My thrift store item, I went to Goodwill and I found this terracotta pot. It's very heavy. Um, it's more of a Southwestern theme style, not my style at all, but it was only $2.99 at Goodwill. I thought that was a pretty good buy for a terracotta pot like this. So I'm removing the price tag off of it. So it doesn't really matter the design. It's just kind of carved in there, cut into it. Um, I'm going to be um, covering this up anyway with some um, mortar. So what I'm going to do is this is the perfect size and um, shape of a Anthropology Mika vase, a smaller vase. I made this a couple years ago. I have the tutorial up on the blog. We'll link this um, one up in my feed. Go up there. I have the step-by-step -step picture tutorial. So easy to follow. I also had to go back up there and um, kind of look at my steps um, for this one because um, I want one just like it in a smaller one so I can sit them both together um, on my um, table or in a shelf. Okay, so I have my bucket here. This is an old bucket um, we use outside. I am going to pour, I'm gonna raise my White shirt and mortar doesn't go together, but okay. So I'm gonna pour um, my mortar in. I'm not gonna measure uh, because I'll just keep on making it if I um, run out. But I'm gonna give it maybe about two cups of mortar. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's all in my bucket here. And I am going to um, use a plastic spoon. I'm just going to pour my um, water in and um, I'm going to just do a little at a time because what I want it is thicker than peanut butter but not um, not too thick. Okay so my mortar is pretty thick. It's almost like a cookie dough. Um, so I'm just going to make sure I have all the lumps out of the mixture. All right. With the leftover water, I'm going to wash my hands. And then um, dry my hands off. I'm going to get some gloves on. I did prep my area with some plastic. Um, and we're going to um, form about 40 balls out of my mortar anthropology vase they're irregular they're not a perfect circle so um and this being not a large one i want to um make sure that and i want them probably about that size. So I am making it the size of a gun ball. So that's the size I am going with and I'm going to place it down on my um, paper and let that dry and I'm just going to continue to make the same size. There's another one, just so that um, they'll harden. So I have my 40 um, shaped like balls um, on my plastic. While they're drying, I will come and just give it a little more ball shape um, because laying on here, they kind of want to flatten out just a little bit. But um, right now, they're just really wet. 
So I'm gonna let them dry just a little bit. In the meantime, I am going to take the um, remaining of my mortar and put it in a seal container so it doesn't harden up. Once um, the mortar has dried, then we'll put um, the mortar on our vase and then we'll put the balls on. Okay, now it's been an hour. I'm just gonna roll the balls over because they're pretty flat on one side. They're still wet, but I'm just rolling them over for the flat side to be upright and then just kind of forming them in a ball. All right, I'm gonna let them sit for another hour and then come do the same thing. So I rolled them up in the palm of my hands to form a ball. They're still really soft to the touch. So I'm gonna leave them go for about 10 hours and then they should be really dry. So the mortar balls are all um, dry. Now I'm going to take a piece of um, mesh, uh, ribbon. We're going to use that and the rest of the mortar and I'm just going to use my hands and smear it onto the pot covering all that designs making sure that I fill the carved line up with the rest of that mortar. I did add more water to the mortar so it's not so thick. This is more like a cake mix and not a cookie mix. And I'm just making sure I get the, the lip and everything around my base. And then I'm just going to smooth it out, making sure that the design is full. And then I want to make sure that it's smooth at the bottom. The um, mesh ribbon, and I want to make a design on my vase because the Mika um, vase had um, the same pattern on it. Let me show you what that looks up close. That's the look I'm trying to go with, and I'm just taking my mesh ribbon here and squeezing it on the surface of my vase. I'm just taking my mesh ribbon, forcing it on my um, container here, doing it pretty well tight. If you can see it's kind of gushing out. And then that's the look that I am trying to form all over my pot here. Now I'm going to take the knots that I made and, and I want to add them to the um, the vase and with the wet mortar I'm just pushing them on and I'm going to do them spacing about two fingers apart from each other and I want to make it in a good line. Do you see that? And we're going to keep this because I'm going to redo it again so I'm going to take two fingers, keep it in that line, and put a knot, if you can see. I want that consistency there. So what that did is I went ahead and it pretty much stayed um, even all the way around. Now I'm going to take a second line and I'm going two fingers down from that knot and I'm just going to go all the way around pushing um, my knots into um, the mortar and if there's not enough mortar to keep your knot in place just add more to it like this one I'm going to add more mortar to it just a little dot and then pinch it into the um, the vase. And I'm doing that all the way around my vase here. 
I'm gonna add um, my vase to um, something to raise it up so I can get to the very bottom of my vase to add that last knot. All right, I have all my knots on my vase. If you can tell, it looks so good. Now I wanna take my um, mortar here and just a little piece um, of mortar and I'm gonna take and rub it back and forth in the palm of my hands to form a little worm or string. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna add it between each knot. If you can see, I just added it between each knot to get that rope um, look of the um, Mika vase. You don't need a lot, just a little P shape. Put it up into a rope and put it in between each knot. Okay, so now I have all the little strips in between my um, knots there. I'm going to go back with my netting and um, just forming that um, pattern on my vase and on the strips. Just bearing down between um, the netting here so you can get those little square marks of the uh, netting ribbon onto your uh, vase and the, um, the strip. So then I'm gonna take this little craft pen and make straight lines, just two lines, if you could see what I did. Um, just to make them look more like a rope. This is how the um, Mika uh, vase has, they have like little stitching. Um, and I'm just gonna go on and make those little stitchings just on the rope. All right, I have my lines all put in the little ropes there. All right, all the uh, mortar is dry. I'm gonna give it one coat of the Ever Better Beige um, by uh, Bear. And I already gave this um, one coat. Do you remember it was black? And then after this one dries, I'm gonna give um, some splattering paint to both faces with the basket tree um, paint also by Bear, um, just to give it that splatter look and then my vase will be done. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, paint it. I'm going to paint it um, this way, then I'm going to turn it around and paint it upside down so I can get all um, of my uh, vase covered with the paint. And then after that, we'll uh, take it outside and um, splatter it with the uh, paint to have that last detail. So I love how my dupe turned out for the Anthropology Mika um, vases. This one I done a couple years ago. I have a written picture tutorial up on the blog. Um, I'll have it linked in my write-up for those that want to go and see step-by-step -step slowly to see if they want to make one of these. And then this one was today's video tutorial. I hope you like it all. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up and sprinkle it with your friends. Also, make sure you go up to Decorate with Tip and More and follow me there. Also, follow me at decorateandmorewithtip.com on my blog. I'll have a great day. Thanks for watching. God bless. See you tomorrow.